All right, we're just about done with this toilet. So let's go ahead and, uh, hmm. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, God! Oh, no! No! What? 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 No, that's not possible. What? Oh, what? 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 So I've been making Minecraft videos, like uh, build tutorials, for a little while now, and I'm really pleased to see that you know people are, are thinking they're pretty cool. So it kind of made me think, well, I like that I'm doing what I'm doing. I feel like I'm giving back to the community uh, the ideas that I have, but I think I can do more. So to show my appreciation, I want to put out more frequent videos. And I think the best way to do that is to start this survival series. And what this is going to be is the tutorials aren't going to go away. They're still going to happen, but they're, they're going to happen uh, in the context of a survival world. I think it would be refreshing for me because I actually haven't played a survival in a little while. And I want to sort of give my view or perspective to you about how I play Minecraft. Like, one of the, one of the big things that I really enjoy doing and it's going to be kind of a rule that I have throughout this series is that whatever I build, it has to have context. And by that mean, I have, I have to kind of justify its existence if I build something. And I, I think that's something that a, a lot of people might not realize, or at least consciously, is that when you're playing Minecraft, or at least when I am, and I notice that motivation isn't always there to play, or the game could get stale, one of the things I think that people forget to do is look at it in that way, like answer the question of why things are being built, or why am I playing this game? Why am I still doing this? And I think that one of the one of the things that can keep the game interesting is to make yourself answer those questions, because then all of a sudden you're starting to develop a story, and give the land a history and a bat like um. Well, how do these things come to exist? If I was to make a big teapot, then I have to say, well, why is the teapot so big and why is it here? Like, maybe a giant left it there. Now it's getting kind of interesting because that means that there's giants in the land. So that's that's just an example. But that's something I want to try to do and kind of show that you, know, you can really have fun with this game. A lot of people say that the possibilities are really endless with something like this. But it's almost kind of daunting just how endless. So sometimes it does help to give yourself like a rule to follow or like a, a structure. So mine is that everything I build, I have to give it context. But enough of my talking. We got to get into this.
Oh yeah. Huh. I have a special resource pack I created just for this. Since I uh, recently figured out how to do those. Just replaced a few sounds, that's all. Let's go ahead and make it a uh, hard. What do we got? Okay, yeah. Let's go for hard. I think everything's. I think we're good. Yeah. Oh man, I can already tell this is going to be silly. Right, I can't, I can't d get distracted though. One of the, one of the coolest things about the first day of Minecraft is seeing how far you can get, and that's just what we're gonna do. Oh god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yep, that's the sound I gave to the rabbits. All right. We we gotta we gotta get some trees. <laughs> I I can't I can't take this game seriously. I this. This is... <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try to ignore them. That is... that is probably some of the silliest... Okay. You need to focus one thing at a time. That should get us started. You know what? I think I might kill those just just for the food. You'd think it'd be easy to track them because they're making so much noise. I Okay, it's a baby. <laughs> All right, there's there's a big one. <laughs> oh man, this I, I this is gonna be really entertaining for me at least, so hopefully <laughs> Hopefully it's like not the most annoying thing you've ever heard, I guess. I guess we can move on though. Uh alright. I'm getting so distracted. It's it's the middle of the day. Um And I'm not sure what order these achievements are coming in. It's kind of... I thought crafting my tools would get me all those. But maybe I have to do it all again. That's not on my mind. Survival's on my mind. We need to find some coal. We have some food. Let's see. Do you have probably any seeds along the way? Should probably climb up and get a view of the land. Ah, looks like we got some mountains over here. Oh, yeah, definitely. So let's see if we can find some stuff. Oh, beautiful. 
Excellent. And there's a cave there too. All right. Show's starting. Looks like it's still still noonish. Oh, there's a okay. There's a better cave. Let's get some cobble. Oh, I almost made that. Okay. Yeah, I like trading the first day almost like it's a speed run or something. Just to see how far I can get. So I need eight of these at least for the furnace. And let's get a few more for picks, shovel, various items. I saw coal up here. And then I lost it. There it is. Ooh, nice. Oh, beautiful. Not just a little. Not just a little bit, but a lot of bit. This might end up being my home. I always find it easier just to like hollow out a uh, a cave or something versus making a house, especially on the first day. And this looks like it's pretty safe territory. It's a cave right there, which is pretty cool. It's hard for mobs to get up here, I think. So this could be actually a really safe spot to uh, to have here. All right, so I have coal. I can make torches. I wonder if there's any sheep nearby. Need something better than wood. Oh, I don't get the time to strike. Whatever. I'll get those another time. There's no time to lolly lollygag and diddly dad. We're on a mission. It's a pretty big mountain, though. To more coal? Eh, why not? Why not? I might almost have too much for the first day. No, no such thing. No such thing as too much. It's never too much. I'm a pack rat, so I'm definitely going to have too much of everything. Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh. Okay. It's actually pretty awesome. Oh, there's chickens. Okay. Rounding out the resources. I didn't change the sounds of every animal in this game. Just a few. That that might come later. Sun's already going down. I was gonna find sheep. If not, then we're in for the long night. Oh, hello. Oh yes, I'm looking for uh, gold too, yes, and diamonds. If just saying it means it'll appear, you know. <laughs> Sounds good.
Get over here. Get over here. Get. Yeah. All right. Now let's head back. Wow. There's there's some pretty cool scenery going on. We need to get back home. I'm sprinting. Oh no, dead end. Well, nothing's spawning yet, which is very forgiving. I guess that's some of that regional difficulty stuff. This is only the first night. This would be a great view if I could support a bigger render distance. Alright, let's find it. I think it's down here. Yes, yes, here it is. If I can, you know, do anything. I'm going to risk giving away my position to to the enemy by lighting a f if side. Oh, look at that. Look at that professional first day. I'm so proud of myself. Oh, that I get to see the sunrise. All right, we can take it easy. We're not just some, you know, homeless wanderers. We actually we have something. <laughs> And I don't get to get any achievements, do I? Because I skipped... I skipped the tech tree. For, like, everything. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to be an achievement hunter for this round. I'm going to... This, this playthrough. I'm going to try to get all of them. So... That means... we got to be a little redundant right now. Don't worry, we'll have a we'll have a good tool burning session coming up. Really? Didn't didn't get any of those? What am I doing? Okay. Bench making. Craft a bench. Real, uh, I have to make a bench first. I don't have the resources to support this, this stupidity. It's mostly mine, but it's still stupidity nonetheless. Whatever. I'm just, I'm just gonna get the upgrade. I'm gonna chop down trees. So th this part of the playthrough, it's pretty easy to uh, justify anything I do, because it's like, well, you're, you gotta survive. You are gotta survive. And that means collecting resources and making a house. So we don't really get to do any of the um, the big crazy stuff yet, because we just started. You know, have a little, have a little patience. Jeez. So, uh, maybe we can get like the world's smallest garden going on. We have like six seeds. Nice. I just made a good axe, but I'll use the bad one. All right.
Let me get more of those achievements. I'm just a glutton for these achievements. Hello, Minecraft sounds. Fancy seeing you here. Definitely made this not easy to get to. Oh, that wasn't that bad, actually. Never mind. Alright, second, third time's a charm. I'll just do it to one, just to see if it'll do it. No. Did I do the wrong implement? That's There isn't even one for a shovel, is there? No, there's not. Okay. Okay. Taking the long way. There's not an axe either. So don't do that one. Alright. I'm going to concentrate. I got this. I got this. There. It takes all of my concentration. Wait, I almost made another one. Oh, yeah, yeah, just plowing through those. Do I get the upgrade if I do this? No, I just did that for no reason. Cool. Cool, you know, that's that's okay. But I do get one for that. Okay, let's make a pick. Look how absolutely full this inventory is. And it's just full of nothing. <laughs> Essentially nothing. Make a furnace. All right, so this should show at least that I am dedicated. I may falter, but I will pick myself back up. Boo! Those were my dance moves. Accidentally, perfect 360. Right, so before the day is done, I know I spent a lot of it goofing off and fooling around. We need to secure our food. We need to have food. You know? You know? Uh, so, now that you do know, let's cook up some of that. And let's use, let's use some of this, uh, some of these three hoes that we made. And let's get a little, uh, little thing going, shall we? This is uh, very convenient. Actually, let's get these here. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. That's pretty. Pretty ugly. Ooh, ooh. No, that's pretty good. That's oh wait, there's there's rabbits nearby, huh? Ah, rabbits. Uh, I think they don't play well with crops. Uh, we'll see. We got time. I need to get some more uh, get some more seeds. We gotta have bread so we can make bread sandwiches. That's the best. Just like Ma used to make. Ma and Pa, they used to make bread sandwiches. Say, here's your sandwiches. Just bread. It's all you need. We're like, yeah, we know. We're hungry. 
give us food. This is how uh, this is how actual farmers do it, right? Like, I want to start a farm. Where's the nearest field? I'm gonna go to individual grass that's growing and hope it grows a completely different crop. All right, we won't get too technical. Let's. We don't want to anger the Minecraft spirits' demanding sense. Very happy with this nonsense. I'm getting more wood just in case we have to uh, make fences. Because honestly, I forget if rabbits, if it's just carrots that they mess with, or if it's like everything. I I used to think that if you punched wheat, you punch seeds with seeds, you get more. Those were the days, weren't they? The naive days, filled with naive days. I see you. Yep, I hear you too. You're not gonna sneak up on me, not with this resource pack. I think I think this is this is good enough. A one person garden. Henry David Thoreau would be proud. He'd say that's my boy. Even though I'm not his son. He so he, I guess he'd say that's a boy. That's a person. That's what he would say. I don't know, I guess it's kinda of weird congratulating people that aren't related to you. You can't say that's my boy. You say, way to go, person. Alright, uh... We have two of these, why not put one over here? So I think this is the last thing we're going to do today. We're going to make a fence around this. I still haven't eaten... Oh, it just got a little bit dimmer. Uh, I didn't make the wood. Quickly. There we go. Uh, what? Doesn't make anything. Okay. Alright, go speed racer. Come on! Come on, Speed Racer. What are you doing, Speed Racer? This is not speed. You don't have nearly enough fences. Rabbits can jump really high, too, so they're definitely going to get in here. Ah, uh, this mission is a failure. You blow it! And go sleep. Minecraft's making noises at me again. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna sleep. That makes me feel a little better. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Alright, I'm sleeping. Uh, just so many not th things. Not useful things. Alright. Oh, that's enough. Sticks forever. Okay. Uh. 
That's enough fences forever, too. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I did not think this out. I, uh, what am I doing? <laughs> what, what am I doing? Uh, no, don't give up. Don't give up. We just gotta think. Oh, no. I think I heard a rabbit. They're zeroing in on the position now. We don't have time. Let's see. We'll have to make this fence double high. Apparently I'm too close to place it. Okay, there we go. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Oops. Okay, that, that should... That should do something. And if it doesn't... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> and I don't even know what I was going to use this gate for now. This gate is going to not have a use for now. Right, there's still technically a way in, but maybe the rabbits will get, like, confused or something. They'll just be like, uh, I don't know. See, I'll give this just a little bit more light. There, <laughs> it looks like it has a use now. That's all it ever wanted was to at least like fake that it was useful. Alright. Uh we could light up some of this cliff. Don't want no baddies in here. Alright, so taking a step back, I think that we have a pretty nice setup. We we have a good start. A good start. Maybe I'll I'll make a little bit more room in here and then we'll we'll be good. For day one dash two. Episode one. Day dash two. I mean, whatever. And we have two furnaces. Might as well look rich. What else could we have? Oh, I really used up all the wood. I was going to make a chest. To house all the important things we've collected so far. The very, very important things. The vital of those things is just astronomical. Like, it's up in space somewhere. That's what astronomical means. So we're going to get chest making, which is not a thing. And that's going to round out all of that. It's all, you know, the most amazing 3x3 three three house anyone ever thought of. And we're not done yet. I think there's just one more thing that this home needs. Can you guess what that thing is? Oh yeah. B 
beautiful. And that's a nice window. Nice, beautiful window. Oh, maybe I shouldn't do that. You know what? I'm going to use... This is a new design for a window. One of the best designs that I think's around. Yep, that's that's the window. And you can even open the window, not like regular windows. We're going to innovate. That's what we're going to do in this in this series. We're going to come up with some new game changers. So, next episode we're going to go over there. Anyways, that's enough for now.